Lost Hill sheriffs turning out in force near the Malibu Pier tonight to disperse surfers who were violating California's closed beach ordinance to try to catch some big waves. At least a dozen surfers were asked to disperse after signage and barricades marking the beach closure were found knocked over. Sheriffs did not make any arrests or give out any citations. Now to the latest on the coronavirus crisis. According to Johns Hopkins University, there are now more than a million known cases of COVID-19 around the world. Here in the U.S., new numbers into our newsroom show there are now more than 257,000 cases. More than 6,500 people have died. Nearly 10,000 people have recovered. California now has more than 11,200 cases and 249 deaths. The U.S. Treasury Department says electronic stimulus payments will be direct deposited in two weeks. The IRS will start sending out paper checks in early May. Huntington Beach is closing all of the grassy areas along the city's beaches in an effort to stop the spread of COVID-19. The city is installing 500 signs along the grass areas to remind the public that the area is closed. Large area of grass between 9th and 11th Street uh, will also be fenced off. A paddleboarder found himself in hot water when L.A. County Sheriff's deputies surrounded him. This was near Malibu Pier. Deputies were flagged down by lifeguards about a man in the water disobeying orders to get back onto the beach. The man finally complied and then swam to shore. He was arrested for violating the city's order that closed the beach. They're starting to take it very seriously, so we all should. Yeah, absolutely. Uh Public beaches in L.A. County are now closed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But not everyone is following that rule. Tonight, KCAL 9's Amy Johnson has some drama on the beach in Malibu. It's a stand-up paddle pursuit. A paddle boarder is chased down by law enforcement for being out on the water at Malibu Beach. Oh, he, he faked him out. Now he's going back out to sea. All L.A. County beaches are closed due to the coronavirus and social distancing after crowds gathered on L.A. beaches early in the crisis. Sheriff boat. The incident caught on camera as the paddle boarder was taken into custody for disobeying a lifeguard and a surfer was sighted. Just up the coast in Ventura County, beaches are open and people are out enjoying them with social distancing. I think it is safe to be at the beach. In Ventura County, the state and county parks and the parking lots are closed, but the beaches are open if you can get to them. Personally, I choose not to live in fear. I know it's a, it's a dangerous virus. And people tend to panic, but I think if you do it what you enjoy doing, stay relatively far away from people you're social distancing. I think being in the water and doing what you enjoy doing shouldn't be a crime. But one scientist says the beaches are so dangerous right now you couldn't pay her a million dollars to go in the water. In a statement, Kim Prather, a leading atmospheric chemist at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, said in her research she has found that the ocean turns up all kinds of particulate and microscopic pathogens, and every time the ocean sneezes with a big wave or two, it sprays these particles into the air. I still want to come to the beach, but I don't enjoy living like this. In Malibu, Amy Johnson, KCAL 9 News. We have a new warning now from a California scientist. Don't go to the beach. Dr. Kim Prather says the beach actually is one of the most dangerous places to be right now. She fears the coronavirus is entering coastal waters and being transferred back into the air right along the coast. She's adding that the six feet distancing rule doesn't apply at the beach because coastal winds can get strong at times, sending that coronavirus particle soaring well beyond that six foot uh, perimeter. So just heed the warning. Don't go to the beach. Uh, Daria, I know uh, this weekend probably not the best one to do that, but next weekend's supposed to be clear and people may be itching to get outside. I know. The beach is I not know. the place to but go. Just Aaron, a researcher in San Diego, says this virus could spread faster and farther than you may think on an ocean breeze. Surfers will tell you that when you're out in the water, it's hard to keep your bodily fluids to yourself. You'll definitely blow your nose. I many times blow my nose out there and thought really nothing of it, um, especially after I, if I was sick or something. Researchers say during the coronavirus pandemic, that's a problem. Kimberly Plather at the Scripps Institute of Oceanography says the new coronavirus is light enough to float through the air and could be passed from surfer to surfer even if they maintain that six feet of physical distancing. It gets caught in the aerosol of the breaking wave 
and it travels and it doesn't travel just six feet. It could travel 30 feet, it could travel 40 feet. Right now, the main danger seems to be the air, not the water. According to the Surfrider Foundation, the virus can live in fresh water, but dilution is expected to keep the risk low. As for salt water, there isn't enough information yet. Some local surfers say based on the new research, they're taking a break from their favorite sport. Maybe don't go out. I mean, there's always, there's always going to be another wave. Under Monterey County's shelter in place, surfing is allowed, but some parks and beaches are closed. Aaron. All right, Caitlin, thank you. Surfrider also looked into whether or not COVID-19 can spread through sewage, which also ends up in our oceans. Research is limited at this time, but it is believed it could be possible. Some are concerned about the coronavirus in the ocean water. News Channel reporter Ryan Fish has more. Elsewhere along the California coast, beaches are closed and surfing is banned during the coronavirus crisis, but not here in Santa Barbara County. I have to do it, otherwise I'm going to go, uh, yeah, be a little uneasy. It's now an escape from the indoors for many. These surfers say they're trying to catch waves and trying not to catch anything else. Honestly, I feel pretty safe. Uh, I'm not, I'd be more worried if I was walking downtown. I think being out in the water, uh, I think I'm probably fine. I try to swim around people and not get too close. I try to take calculated risks. I try to not get sick, but keep saying and surf. But even if surfers are following the rules, is physical distancing enough? Dr. Henning Ansorg from Santa Barbara County Public Health says the ocean water itself could pose a risk. We don't have a lot of research to go by. The virus is in the sewage. However, we don't know how long it stays actually infectious. Especially in, in polluted water, I would advise not to surf. That makes post rain runoff into the ocean potentially more harmful. We always say two days after rain, do not go into the ocean water. At this time, it's obviously even more important to do that. That said, surfing here doesn't appear to be slowing down, even with its safety somewhat uncertain. At Santa Barbara's Ledbetter Beach, I'm News Channel reporter Ryan Fish. All right, Steve, a full beach closure now in effect in Oceanside to enforce the San Diego County Public Health order to follow social distancing. It had previously been one of the few beaches still open for activities. The order went to, into effect at midnight. News 8's Teresa Sardina has more from Oceanside with community reaction. Residents tell us it is quite different here Saturday morning. They woke up coming down here thinking they could go for a walk, but they see signs, sidewalk closed. We have barricades here only open for residents. And just as yesterday, they were able to come out here and walk, even go surf. But we spoke with law enforcement and they tell us that people must comply with these safety orders. Walk on the beach today because as of uh, yesterday, we were able to. So it's uh, my wife's birthday today, so she wanted to come down and go take a walk. And then we found out as of midnight, they, they stopped all that. I live about seven miles from here and I'm extremely disappointed that I can't come down. It was two weeks ago when beach goers got the news that beaches were closing along the San Diego coastline. I kind of thought Oceanside was doing a great thing by allowing us to come down here. Oceanside and Coronado were the last to put a full beach closure in place. Over the past couple weeks, our deputies have gone out on foot and provided physical copies of the public health order as well as the executive order to educate our community members. A step to protect the county from the spread of coronavirus. County leaders tell News 8 they're pleased to see people complying with the order. The first social distancing order the CDC recommended against gatherings of 50 or more people. Many continued to gather and now that number is 10 plus keeping a six feet distance from others. Now we've gotten to the point that we've had to escalate and now we're doing enforcement. A large group of our deputies and detectives did go out and conduct enforcement for those who are violating the order. These were not recommendations that came down. These were actual orders that our deputies have gotten to the point now to where we will, we will enforce and we're gonna continue to be doing enforcement. Violators can expect fines up to $1,000 and up to six months in jail, depending on the action. And many are wondering when the beaches will reopen. That is undetermined at this time, but we will keep you updated at CBS8.com. In the meantime, stay safe, be patient, and 
respect the closures here along the coastline of San Diego. I'll send it back to you. These are working on group gatherings to help slow the spread of coronavirus, including discouraging people that unintentionally may find themselves in compromising positions at local beaches and rec trails and parks. The message coming from authorities, the state stay at home order has teeth and you could face a misdemeanor if you don't follow the rules. Action News reporter Phil Gomez has more on whether Santa Cruz County beach visitors are complying. State and local beaches remain open, but there are barriers in place to discourage social gathering here, and some people aren't taking it seriously. Where are you from? Sacramento. Sacramento? Yeah. So you guys just drove down here to come to the beach today? To surf, yeah. To surf? Uh -huh. Okay. So you, you know about the COVID and all that sort of stuff? Yeah. Any concerns there? No. He has it. He has it. I have he it. Actually I might have it. it. Some of these visitors are traveling from heavily infected counties to our north and elsewhere, despite the state order. Coming to Santa Cruz County to surf is not essential. It is not. Um, we understand the need to recreate and we have allowed uh, people to continue to do that, but they have to practice the guidelines that's in the order. Coastal parking areas are closed, campgrounds shuttered, and volleyball nets have been removed to ensure people follow social distancing guidelines. I would like to stress uh, that um, now is not the time for a road trip to a state park. This is, this is an unprecedented time for us, and, and we're really trying to stress that um, we are not destination areas right now. You can still bicycle and walk through parks if it's in your community while maintaining that six foot space. However, there is this stern reminder. The stay at home order allows law enforcement to come after you if they need to. Misdemeanor charges could be handed down. This is uh, not a holiday. I realize people are off work and they're off of school, but this is not a vacation. State park rangers aren't citing people, but they are educating them about the hazards of recreational gatherings. In Santa Cruz, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8. Too many people at Santa Cruz beaches again yesterday. County Sheriff's Office says deputies issued about 40 misdemeanor citations to people who would not practice social distancing and who had traveled to Santa Cruz from another county. These are things you shouldn't be doing. Pleasure Point, perhaps the biggest trouble spot. Parking is being blocked off there to discourage visitors. You know, uh, San Francisco is ticketing people who are out and about unnecessarily. You know, is the sheriff's office taking any similar measures to enforce staying at home? Yeah, I've seen a lot of this stuff around the state. Now, see, we are Northern California. We are rural. We have a lot of open space. I know Orange County, I think San Diego County, San Francisco, are actually citing people to go to the beach and watch the sunset, right? And so what we're doing is we haven't uh, had that Problem. We know that there are people that are congregating. There are some, some parking lots that are full at the beach. We ask the people if they pull into those parking lots, they see it's filling up, please go somewhere else. Please don't congregate. It's up to them to, to regulate this activity, uh, do their best to kind of isolate because we can only ramp up more regulations here. We can always you know, require you know, uh, more. We can instill a curfew. There's a lot of things that we can do to try and um, uh, convince people to um, to isolate more. So we don't want to have to do that. So far, Humboldt County has been very, very good at the social isol isolation, and I think we can see that with our numbers, and so we're just going to continue that effect down, down the road. And you mentioned the beaches and the crowding in the parking lots. Can you talk about our enforcement aspect of crowding on beaches? I know some people have had an issue with that. So I think a lot of people drive by and they see like there's different parking lots that are, that are near full and so they, it, it causes some concern. I know there's some areas of beaches where people say there's multiple people hanging out in one location. Um, so what, what we would like to do is we'll follow up on those complaints um, and, um, and that we've actually gone out there and have discussed those with people. Uh, we do have beach patrols that are out. Um, they're irregular at times or patrolling different areas of the county, uh, but we do have beach patrols. And so if we do come across those people, we will issue those warnings, but we just urge people, there's plenty of open space on the beach. Please separate yourselves. Uh, if you're gonna go with your household, you, it's fine to all be together. If you're going there by yourself, um, please be by yourself. Don't, you know, just because it's a beach, you can't have all your friends there. You can't have a party there. Um, it's not something to do. So we urge people to continue that shelter in place and that, that social isolation.
So Surfers unhappy with the closure of L.A. County beaches are finding ways to get around the health-ordered shutdown by paddling up the coast. Today, dozens of surfers were spotted off the coast of Ventura enjoying themselves. The waves weren't very high, so social distancing didn't seem to be a problem. The city has shut down the Ventura Pier and popular parking lots near the water. Mr. Powers. Thank you. Yes, and one of the areas where there's been a, uh, some understandable confusion is uh, with our beaches. There's multiple jurisdictions, and so we've asked Assistant CEO Mike Pettit to, uh, to clarify some of that for us. Thank you. Thank you, CEO Powers, uh, Chair Long, members of the board. Uh, we just wanted to provide, as, as CEO Powers said, a, a brief picture of our beaches. Um, we've got a couple maps that we've put together um, that show the... There we go. The, the state of our beaches. Um, along our coast, we're very fortunate to have a beautiful coastline, uh, but it uh, does create a lot of um, opportunities for coordination uh, in pandemics such as this. This is a picture of our beaches uh, from all the way from Mandalay County Beach uh, in Oxnard all the way north to Rincon State Beach Park. And so uh, along that way, we have a, num a number of county beaches, uh, La Conchita, Hobson, Faria, uh, Rincon, Mondo, Solomar, Mandalay, Silver Strand. Um, but there are also a large number of city beaches and state beaches uh, along that as well, including Rincon, Emma Wood, San Buenaventura, McGrath, uh, Mandalay, State Beach, and Ormond. So uh, we were trying to keep the beaches open as much as possible, uh, uh, monitoring situations. And as LA started to close their beaches, we saw more and more people uh, driving north to, to enjoy the beautiful beaches that we have here in Ventura County. And that started to create a problem. It really peaked this last uh, Friday, Saturday. And so many of our organizations worked closely together. Your board, our sheriff, our Office of Emergency Services, our GSA Parks Department, working with the state and the Coastal Commission. Uh, our, our county actually closed our beach parks, campgrounds, and parking areas uh, last week. But there were still, as you can see, many of these state areas that were not closed. And so uh, staff worked very quickly with the state and local organizations to enact closures of those parking areas and to help alleviate some of the problems occurring there. Also, we have another map here that shows um, south of Magoo Rock. That was an area of a, lo a lot of concern. And so you can see that's all state beaches along uh, that stretch of land. And so really excellent coordination with uh, the Highway Patrol or Sheriff's Department, uh, Coastal Commission, State Parks uh, and their rangers, et cetera, to coordinate efforts in those areas. And so we continue to monitor uh, traffic and, and parking in those areas and where necessary uh, citations are issued and uh, further enforcement is done. Supervisor Mr. Um, yes, I also want to throw in there thanks to Caltrans. I know we had a problem at County Line Beach, and uh, it was one of those situations where the cars were, you know, hundreds of cars parked mm -hmm. along the PCH, but unless they could sign it, no parking, the CHP and the Sheriff's Department couldn't enforce it. So um, wonderful to see that coordination, and then, then the state has closed that beach also because it just – it just so surprising in this time when you would have you know hundreds of people all gathering together so kudos thank for you. the great coordination thank you madam chair yes supervisor zaragoza i i want to thank mike pettit for working with the mark sandoval over at the harbor you know and, and also uh, taking care of our beaches there at uh, silver strand and in hollywood and of course you know i'm sure that the city of Oxford also work is also working on mandalay so I think that's important that we that we work the, with those uh, agencies and also with the with our harbor uh, individuals. And and I really appreciate the county stepping up and working with everyone on this. If you've been to the beaches, you've seen people um, gather in the back of pickups, <laughs> ten people at a time. Um, you've seen people mingling so close where you wouldn't have been bringing these people together. We heard that Dr. Levin had stated to walk on the beach at a social distance would be safe. However, the problem lays when we're all getting out of our cars, when we're meeting up with people, and then we're getting way too close and spreading way too many germs. And then we have people coming from different counties that are bringing their own you know, germs in. So I just want to make sure people understand we, we love our beaches, 
but we need to keep people safe. And, and I know the weather is going to be beautiful and everything's going to go and the urge to, to go and, and get to the beach is going to be there. But I just want to make sure people are following the stay at home ordinance that we've really worked hard to put in place to keep the safety of all um, in mind. So just thank you. Supervisor Long. Uh, Supervisor this, Bennett. This is Steve Bennett. Yeah. Um, uh, Mike, you may not know the answer right now, but if you would, uh, um, it's still unclear to us that long stretch of beach between when you get off at where it says county beaches, when you're going up 101, just after you pass Ventura, there's the first ramp there that says county beaches. From there to Solomar, is Caltrans going to make that no parking? Uh, or are we going to leave that open? Uh, if uh, it's, it's, we, uh, my understanding is Caltrans has to prove a, a no parking there if we were going to do some temporary posting of that also. So um, if you could just get back with me and let me know what you, what you guys find out about that, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Our so, so that that beach is Emma State Beach along that stretch all the way up to Solomar. Mm -hmm. um, I was well, it's not. It's is it's it? not. It, it, I don't think that's. You know, it's not all called Emma Emma Wood State Beach. Um, I, I don't. I don't know exactly where, but yeah, it's on the map here. It would be the area um, in between Emma Wood north of where the, that little sign says Emma Emma Wood State Beach up to, uh, to where up to says. Solomar. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dave, do you happen? It's a pretty, it's a pretty long stretch, and it has a pretty big parking area, and it's it's a day use parking area. It's not an overnight parking area. I'm going to invite our GS, our GSA director Dave Sassig up here. He may have an update on that. Yeah, for the record, Dave Sassig, the director of GSA. So that's one of the areas that um, supervisor we've asked Caltrans to work towards closure, and they were waiting for us to get the memo back which we got yesterday from the Coastal Commission allowing us to do that we have a request in through the EOC um, so we're, I think there's a tasker um, up at the state level to direct Caltrans to support that um, the latest I have is they're hoping to get that done by the end of the, the week before the weekend thank you so that is something you guys have, have decided to, uh, you, you think should be closed uh, yes, the, all the day use parking up there. We've requested that to be closed. Right. Okay. I think that's that's that that's one that um, that'll be an interesting one to monitor when we when we talk about uh, uh, unraveling this. Do we do we space space out the parking there uh, uh, more? Uh, that'll just be interesting. An interesting question for us all to wrestle with. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Powers. Thank you, Supervisor. And uh, as you can see, there are multiple layers there. And also appreciate Patrick from OES coordinating those outreach to the state, all those state agencies. So uh, with that, I'd like to turn it over to Sheriff Abe. Well, good morning, uh, Chair Long, members of the board, Mr. Powers, county staff. Uh, for the record, Bill Ayub, Sheriff of Ventura County. Our deputies continue to be on the front lines of, of uh, our communities dealing with um, incredibly complex issues, some very sensitive and sticky. Uh, the, the approach we have had has been consistent, one of encouraging compliance with the public health orders, um, an educational process for not only our staff, but for the public as well. As, as uh, things evolve, uh, more orders are issued, uh, more education is required. Um, we have uh, certainly the letter of the law and the spirit of the law, which is what we're, we're trying to share with the public and what we're in trying to encourage them to abide by. Um, in our approach to public safety, we, we consider the three E's. Uh, one is education, and, and that's one of the pro processes we've been doing for the last several weeks and we continue to do. The other is engineering. And you just heard from uh, Mr. Pettit, you, you've heard from others about the beach closures. We had challenges with um, endless uh, beachgoers showing up, our deputies, state park rangers, CHP officers, shooing uh, those beachgoers away from the beaches that are closed, but yet there's copious parking in the area. And so we looked at ways to restrict parking to give us leverage to keep people from actually showing up to begin with. And that in turn solved the problem of the crowding on the beaches, the endless beachgoers, the, 
the um, virtual impossibility of keeping people shooed away without um, that type of mechanism in place. That's an example of engineering. Enforcement is that 30, and that's, that's where we're at right now with, with um, some craftier businesses in the community that are um, taking steps to skirt the letter and really the spirit of the law. And um, it's a strategic process in some cases. You heard Dr. Levin talk about um, coming back to uh, the drawing board and um, strengthening the health orders to add specificity as well as teeth to give us leverage to uh, enforce these orders. Uh, right now is such a critical time in order to flatten the curve and stop the spread of the virus. And yet, L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti says the city is tracking more cars on the roadways. People are heading outside more often right now. And that's why he's taking drastic measures for this holiday weekend. Passover and Easter will not be the same this year. Mayor Eric Garcetti wants people to prepare for a physically distant holiday. On Sunday, our parks will be closed. Before, we've closed the facilities and the trails that are in our parks. But for this Sunday, the parks will be altogether closed. L.A. County is facing its deadliest day yet. Overnight, 29 more people died from the virus, bringing the death toll to nearly 200 victims. Despite orders to shelter at home and practice social distancing, hundreds of people flocked to the beach today. This is what it looked like at Arroyo Borough Beach in Santa Barbara, which is known as Henry's Beach. A News Channel crew in the area says the parking lot was completely packed. It looked like some people were trying to keep their distance, but it is difficult to do in a crowded area. Our crew says most of the people at the beach were also not wearing masks or any protective gear. Beaches in Ventura and Los Angeles counties are closed for this very reason. We reached out to Santa Barbara Mayor Kathy Murillo, who says Arroyo Borough Beach is not run by the city and that city-run beaches were less crowded today. I went to Ledbetter Beach and it was not crowded. I'm here at East Beach. You can see it's not crowded. Please come here rather than Arroyo Borough Beach or Hendry. Earlier this week, she said she would fight to keep beaches access open as long as people were responsible and maintaining physical distancing. We reached out to the county for comment, but have not heard back yet. Coronavirus-related beach closures in some communities over the Easter weekend caused some beach lovers to head north across county lines to enjoy time outdoors. ACLU's John Palmentary has that story. Sunny days and warmer weather, a big attraction to the public cooped up at home to get outside. In Ventura County, with parks and beaches closed, parking lots blocked off near the waterfront, and other rules and restrictions tightening down recently, many people came north. Crossing the county line, they found beaches open in Carpinteria and Santa Barbara. Parking lots were still closed off in many areas, but the crowd size was solid. Public officials from the health department, police and sheriff, along with city and elected officials, are watching very closely that there's social distancing. If it gets too tight or rules are broken, those beaches could be shut down as well. For now, they're open. Popular attractions near the beach, such as volleyball courts and fitness workout equipment, have all been closed off. But walking on the beach or lying down with appropriate spacing is allowed. In Santa Barbara, John Palmentary, KCLU News. But the total number of cases continues to grow, 22,000. 348, that's our official count, the number of people that have been tested positive. So again, growing, but in a moderate way, the curve is being bent because of you and because of your willingness to continue to stay at home, including this weekend, Easter weekend, uh, where we did not see the kind of surge that some people are predicted uh, in our beaches and our parks and playgrounds. We saw certainly increased activity, uh, but it just again, uh, reinforces why we are so grateful to each and every one of you that are responsible for those numbers not being larger. You're responsible for those numbers not growing exponentially. And I want to continue uh, to remind you of the importance of maintaining this work, continuing to advance the resolve that is required as we, again, all of us have a little cabin fever uh, and look forward to coming back to some sense of normalcy.